Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Just giving a quick update on my uh, 112 scale scratch build armored personnel carrier based on the, the aliens Colonial Marines vehicle. I uh, got the the main cannon, the, the rail gun, and the rail itself completely figured out and in place. As you can see right here, there's a wide shot of everything all together, all put together. And I'll show how it comes apart here shortly. Um, but everything turned out pretty good. I was not totally happy with the angle of the top of the cannon, but it works. It looks good. I like it a lot. Uh, some of the some of the detail you can't see back there, but I'll see if I can zoom up later. Here's another shot from the other side, from the left side of the vehicle, of the, the railgun cannon and some of the back details to the vehicle. I was going to use this sentry gun from a broken neck a piece, but I just couldn't find a place for it. I'm thinking about drilling a hole in the roof, but I'm not sure if I'll actually do it if I'm doing that or not. Uh, here is a demonstration of how it works. It's articulate. So you have the rail in place. Uh, got a corp trooper there. The, the gun, the main gun, the cannon itself glides up and down on the rail. And of course it can rotate so it can stow itself just like in the movie to avoid from hitting you know, the roof of, a, of, a, of the entrance or exit of a, of a building. It can go 360, computer's in the way there, but it can still move around. And I just, I love how it stows right there. That was my favorite part, putting it together. A lot of trial and error with this one. Uh, it melted a lot of plastic and wasted a lot of plastic burning it, but finally got it to work. I'm gonna show right here how it comes apart. So it's a modular vehicle all together. It's a playset, just like the old 80s playset. It's just like the USS Flag or the Command Center, something like that. So the, you, know, you can take it apart in three sections, just take apart the roof, and then here I can show you how you can take apart the rail, just pops right out, and how you can take apart the rail from the actual rail gun itself. Just gotta pull it apart just gently, and it comes apart. You don't have to use much force at all. Damn, in case you ever had to move it, sell it, stow it, mail it, whatever you have to do, you can come apart many pieces. Here's a classified trooper, Cobra Trooper, for scale. And here's what the gun looks like next to it. You can see it's, it's big, it's large, uh, and it's a beast. It's heavy and it's sturdy. I used a lot of two inch millimeter styrene, and sometimes it's four for sturdiness. And there's a little comparison to my, uh, my reference piece that I had, the Walmart toy that I bought. Um, all I gotta do is add these little pieces of detail in there. Um, I'm not sure how I'll do these little missile bays. I don't think it'll be too hard. And then I'm gonna spray paint the heck out of this. And I wanna actually start doing some hand painted, uh, maybe some pinup girls. Sort of like the old Vietnam uh, helicopters or, or, or fighter jets. But yeah, that's everything. That's the update. Hopefully more coming soon. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave me a comment. And hope you all have a good day.